Boom, 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 yeah, howdy, 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 howdy. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, howdy, you hoodly hoodle. Uh, welcome along to the Slanx Panic live stream. This live stream, we're going to be making our starts towards the Learn from Scratch system build. This is a fuck it, we'll do it live scenario. So I'm just gonna pour out my can of coke. My can of coke. My fucking can of coke. I'm sorry to anyone that's just heard that. <laughs> hello, hello, Chaddy. How you doing? I'm just pouring out my can of, my can of coke. I was trying to interpret a very bad um, Liverpool accent. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Nothing is nicer than a uh, nice, cool, and fresh can of Coke. So, we're going to be attempting to build Linux from scratch. Uh, 11, uh, Linux from scratch 11.3 System D edition. So, let's get into the hell that is Linux from scratch. And add an entirely new operating system into the world, shall we? So, Linux from scratch being the hell of the wonderful, wonderful darling that it is. So, I need to change a couple things first. So, settings, power. Um, never, never, never disappear. I'm going to make it a few chapters in and then pick it up next, next week. Because I want to try and stagger it. And not do it, not how, not not try and do this all in one night because this is going to be a pain in the ass trying to do it all in one night. S Help of a Jesus Christ! I cannot spell scratch today. R A T C H. Jesus wept. Holy Satan's testicles! There we go. I'll get there eventually. Read online, funky. Stream might be a bit choppy. I have just realised the reason being is. This is taking up most of the CPU. So this is very much expected. So stable OFS system D. I first off want host system requirements. So first thing we want to do is we want to bring up our good old friend G parted. We want to have a look at our system. So we have one 50 gigabyte disk here. We're going to be needing that later. Here is a drive that I made earlier. It doesn't work yet, but we will be needing that later. First things first, sudo hyphen i, and then dpkg hyphen reconfigure dash, and swap that for a note, give that a clear, and we want to install a load of stuff that's gonna make things work straight from the get go. Also by doing this. so. Apt install, we want M4, Gork, Gork, Bison, Flex, Auto Make, Auto Conf, Build Essential, e -N -T -I -L. Text Info, Text Info, not Text Info, trust me, there is a difference. Uh, Gparted works just as well, it's essentially. It's it's just the graphical version of doing it in the command line because it actually shows you what it's doing and shows you the commands it's doing. It's just a graphical spin on something you can do in the command line. I can understand where you're coming from. It's like, is it safe? Is it not? But if you if you do something that works for you, keep doing it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. If it works for you, that's the main thing. Uh, G parted uh, lib and lib n curses 5 hyphen dev and lib n curses uh, w5 hyphen dev the reason why this doesn't work is because we forgot to do one thing software and updates oh wrong one we forgot to enable the multiverse and the universe packages Universe, multiverse, hit reload. The reason why, 
all that didn't work is because they have requirements that can only be filled in the universal multiverse packages. So if we now just say, please install. Yes, I do wish to install those three. Huzzah. There we go. So we need these. It's just making sure everything's ready and ready to go. It's like, yeah, I, I have the things that I need, I need to do the do. It's just making sure it's all kosher. Mm, that is a good kind of coke. Oh, not coke. Glass of coke. I'll get that eventually, I swear. Right. Come yeah, on. There we go. So, clear our screen. What we want is we want to check the host system requirements, and that can be done as easy as copy paste this command supplied by LFS. Version check. No errors, meaning good. At this point in time, we get no output other than what we want. It's very good. We can breathe. We're going to try and get through to around about chapter 5 6. Uh, by the end of the stream, because it's a little while away, and it can be a right pain in the derriere. So this is just explain to us the various partitionings and the such. But what we want to do is we want to... We will do this in the command line for a change, because normally I do this in... not the command line, but this time around, We'll do it in the command line. So make file system hyphen v hyphen t verbose with the t. I can't remember what t is for. Exe four slash dev slash vda. And if we just do list the blocks, well, let's be okay. We have our vda disk. If you use an existing swap, there is no need to format it. We are not using an existing swap, but we have just set up the file system on our partition. Now it is set up, set up the LFS variable, everyone's favourite way, aliasing. So, export the LFS variable to mount LFS, echo LFS, ta-da, it's sorted, bada bing. Now, we need to mount a new partition, because we're only going to be doing one partition this time around, and only the one. Make directory, uh, pv, uh, p, yes, uh, I, can't, I can't remember what the p switch is for, but v is for verbose. On the lfs variable, so it's now created mount lfs. We want to mount hyphen v hyphen t ext4 slash dev slash vda and lfs. There we go. So if we now to do cd lfs, we're now in the directory. Things are good. We're not doing multiple part partitions, we're just leaving it as it is. We're not touching it again, we're leaving it alone. Again, the next time we will touch it is when it comes to uh, unmount, uh, mounting the virtual file system and then going from there. That's the only time we will touch it. It's the only time we'll touch it. So, we now need to create our sources directory, make it sticky, and then go from there. Sources directory is as simple as make verbose in LFS sources, please thanks. We now have our sources directory, and the reason why we want it as a sticky is if we have it as a sticky, uh, what the fuck is... That's not that's not intuitive there. Uh, no, I hate that. Right. The reason why we want this sticky for is it prevents any other users, users that is not the owner of the file system from removing, but they can add to. So this is why sticky is good in this case. So it's uh, A plus W T. So we want to change the modifiers of that using the verbose switch so we know what it's doing. So A plus W T. That's making it sticky. The LFS sources directory. 
as we can see here, it's changed from a 0755 to a 1777. So read, write, execute, the worst thing you could ever, nay, worst thing you could ever give to any forward facing, uh, any internet facing file system is a trouble seven because that's that's basically you have free reign less than ideal now what we want to do is we want to do we want to come here to download all of the packages uh packages and patches by using this we want to copy this link the reason why we want to copy this link for is because it takes us to this section which has all of the links for all of the packages Everything's mucha. Everything's mucha gusta. So, W get, paste in the link, hit enter. And what this will do now do is all that get, then get the W get list and all of the contents. And this is where we do W get, input name of the file being W get list system D, hit enter. And now that's going to go through and download all of the files, and that could. Take away. Hopefully, it shouldn't. While we wait, I wish to show off a little thing that I had arrive in the post today. It's an iPod Classic, fourth generation. That is nineteen years old, all the way from two thousand and four, and for some reason, it still had its original spicy pillow inside of it. But it was dead. And when I say the original spicy pillow, it still had it still had the uh original adhesive that kept the battery in place. For so something this old? Insane in the membrane. Really is. But I have a fifth gen coming Monday. As well as a new battery for this thing and a flash adapter for it, so I can put a SD card in here because this drive has the SADs. And when I mean it has the SADs, I genuinely mean you plug it in and it gives a sad face. That means the drive's knackered, it's dead, kaput, no saving it because these things will run, will run without the battery in them. They've just got to be connected up to decent power. So, not my MacBook. But, it does turn on. It does still work, because I had to take it apart and take the battery out and all this, but it does still work. So, I, the, its spicy pillow has been removed. And I might do a video on one or both of these. But it does still work. It just has a sad drive. It's it's the sad pod. That's that is what I will call it. It is the sad pod. <sighs> right. So whilst we wait for this to finish, it's just get, getting all of the packages we need to go through, download <laughs> the usual, and all of the uh, patches for the various files. This may take. It'll vary on your what your internet connection and what your connection is to the servers. Mine is taking a jolly old good time for evidently no reason at all. I mean, we are getting towards XZ, so if we have a look right down here, XZ is right near the end anyway. So that's now done. It took us a total of 1 minute 53 seconds to download everything at 4.19 megabytes per second. We now want to copy the MD5 sums file. W get that. Uh, yeah. Copy the link. W get. MD5 sums. Can I just open you in a new... Uh, I didn't oopsie. Right. W get that file. Yes, please. We'll try not, try not to make that mistake again. 
And then we want to run the MD5 sum check. What this will do is just confirm that we have everything there, which we do. Problem solves, no need to go download any extra files. It's all there. Me gusta. We now want to change the owner of the root of the directory of sources to root root because we're using the root account at the moment. Uh, chapter 3.2 just says here's what all the files look like. And here's where they are and here's all the patches. That's it. That's all that one does. Final preparations. So this is just going to explain what standard build units are. Creating a limited, so most of this is copy paste to begin with. Uh, create the required directory layout uh, by issuing the following commands as root, as we are in the root directory. We will do so. And we also need to make a tools directory. So it's just make directory pv with the alias LFS tools, not tools. So if we were to do cd lfs slash tools, we are in tools. cd lfs sources will be back in sources. Very nice. Hello from hello from Camelot. I see you've reached the land of the surrender monkeys. Hello from Camelot. Right. You were just joining. We've been going for 16 minutes and we're already making waves, as it were. Right. Give the screen a clear. We now have our sources. We want to add in a group called LFS. Do it so it doesn't have to deal with all the jazz it doesn't need to deal with. Pass WD for the user LFS. There we go. And now we want to give. Oh, yeah, because you're you're getting on the train to go from Surrender Monkey Land to Camelot. Yes. Uh, we wish to grant LFS full access to the directories under the LFS variable by, by making the LFS user LF, owner LFS. SU to LFS. Now we have LFS at Ubuntu, which is very nice. Your train leaves in six minutes time. Six minutes time, Peter. Ah, uh, my Coke's empty, I'm sad. I should not put that one there because that's got my music discs. 8.24. Oh, you mean AM, not... PM, right, yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh, I am, yeah. Well, PM, that your train leaves like now. You should already be on the train. <laughs> right. We need to create our bash RC file. Well, our, our bash profile. Whack that in. Chuck all of this in. And of course, we need to do. We will leave that one on and need to source the bash file. Uh, echo, LFS, Azar. Yeah, it's a good idea considering um, Gopher. No, I, I'd recommend that because it's the Euro Tunnel. It'll be busy on both sides of the of the channel. It's the Euro Stars, but it's busy. It's busy both sides of the channel. That's a good idea. Don't worry about it. Make flags. What we're going to do is we are actually going to do this. Make flags is just saying, hey, look, use this many calls because I have six calls available. We will do make J6. And if we do echo make flags minus J6, that means it's all groovy. It's going to use six calls. Now, for instance, if I'm running this off of my server, then that would be a different matter because I could say here use 24 cores. It'll be fine. 
and myself will just go, yes, I love it. But uh, I don't currently have myself switched on, and that's a that's an attempt. That's a thing for another day. So test suites, we can just ignore these. We will be running them, maybe. Not too sure yet. We will go down to the end of chapter seven because that then. Uh, then we have to deal with the hell out of chapter 8. Yes, Peter, I would love to hear a funny story. No, I'm not the funny story. But yes, I would like to hear it. What the hell? Clear. Technical tool chain notes. That's just explaining how all of this works. Um, look that up in your own time. So, make sure our environment is set. Our variable is set. That is very good. And his old job was running a. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they were using a meme OS. Prove me wrong. Right. Here comes the first one. So show me the money. CD LFS. CD sources. Right. Here comes the first one. So, tar hyphen xvf bin utils. Now we've got to go through the fun. That is this bin utils. Now we want to cd bin utils. And this is going to want a directory, or it's going to want a build directory. CD is build. Feed at the compilation switch. I am not typing that all out by hand. You can go diddle yourself. You wouldn't type it out. You wouldn't type all these compilation instructions out by hand. Unless you're a madman. Then again, good on you. And yes, Chrome OS is a Gen 2 fork, which is not really much of a surprise. Anyway, time to compile the package. So it is time. Make. Uh, we'll just stick it with a J6 just to get it done. So, we're going to fly through this one. This will take, hopefully, no more than a minute. But, very much does depend because, you know... Oh, I've just seen that flat. Oh, God. OBS. That's not a... Oh, oh God. <laughs> You've entered the Twilight Zone. Uh... I don't quite know what happened. That was weird. Anyway, just going to go through, compile everything, make sure it is all groovy. And then we have to install the package. Now, because this is six cores instead of one, it's very good. Hello, Mr. Fitzpatrick. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Thank you very much for choosing me as your streamer of choice and creator today. Remember, when you, lose, when you use Linux, don't panic. You must. You must get you must get Marco and Nick. Anyway, when you use Linux, don't panic. Except when you're this boy here, and I'm gonna rip its guts out again tomorrow. This is an iPod Classic fourth generation from 2004. It has seen some things, and it had, and for Peter, as well as you, Ben Fitzpatrick, this had its original spicy pillow inside of it. You know how I know? It still had the original adhesive under the battery. So this was quite literally a pocket explosive, or a Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Well, pretending to be a Samsung Galaxy Note 7, should I say. Anyway, that took us um, 1 minute 39 seconds to do, so yeah, it's no bother. Time, make install, do that. That's going to fly through, it's no bother at all. Leave the directory, remove the directory. <laughs> if, you, if you've ever watched any of my videos on Linux from scratch, you know exactly what I'm now going to say. Leave the directory, remove the directory, extract the next directory, and so on and so forth. So, fucking god, <laughs> kill me already. 
<laughs> oh god, this is where things are going to get repetitive. So, that was a one that was a one standard build unit bit of software. That took us a minute and 49 seconds. We can then guesstimate, let's say 2 minutes, uh, that GCC is 3.3 standard build units. You are the package manager. <laughs> That's the thing I love about learning from scratch is you are the package management. It is fine. You can just ignore it and say, this is an up-to-date bit of software. No one can prove me otherwise. And if you say that, it is the truth. You have spoken gospel. Anyway, this will be my... Oh, God, what is it? Fourth learning some scratch build because the first one I uh, wouldn't boot the second one I lost because I didn't back it up when I swapped operating systems the third one again doesn't boot because I messed that one up this one is my fourth attempt no fifth because I attempted to redo the fourth and that also didn't get anywhere which is why my current learning some scratch series has gone quite a while without a video not fun anyway Onto GCC, standard build unit 3.3. .3. Um, so let's just say six minutes, six, seven minutes to do GCC. So, tar hyphen XVF GCC. Watch it fly through and do everything. That's going to take a while. So, whilst I got you guys here, and considering there's four of you, I'd like your opinion on me doing a video about. Little iPods, because this is not the only one I have coming. I do have a 5th gen iPod coming as well. Except that's in much better condition. And it's only missing a battery, which I have ready and waiting. So would you guys like to see a video on it? Um, CD to GCC. Uh, grab these. Do the do. Ooh, tell you what. I start a poll. Yes! Droop waffle. Yes! Very nice! There we go, that's Paul. Remote book for using a uh, scratch package. I have, I have a lot, <laughs> I've got a lot, I've got, and there's a lot of music in this house, trust me. Anyway, now that we've converted our directories, we wanted MPFR, GMP, and MPC, MPFR, GMP, MPC, on 64-bit hosts, need to change this around, yes. Enter in the build directories, yes. Wait an age for these compilation instructions to be finished, because there's a lot of them. There's always a lot of them. I like. Ooh. There's nothing more tangible than just going. Would you like thirty gigabytes of music? I love that. Damn, I, there, I there's a iPhone four G downstairs. Uh, I, iPhone four. Yeah, there's an iPhone four downstairs. The only issue wrong with it, it's got knackered uh, knackered logic board, which is a shame. Uh, so I make uh, because I have ooh, because I have the make flag set. That's just going to fly straight through. Uh, I may have dropped it on the floor. However, it does turn on. Uh, the issue with this is it has a drive that has that has the SADs. So it turns on, but it does not do anything. Because the drive has the SADs. Meaning, it'll never do anything. <laughs> Luckily for me, uh, I ordered a drive adapter from iFlash.xyz. This is not a sponsorship, I just... I know about iFlash from watching Dankpod videos. Hurry up. And they were the first people that came to my mind when I thought, I want to buy myself a few iPods. So, went to iFlash, uh, my 
adapter as well as a spudger like a proper one not a uh, that can actually let me get in it and open it up instead of reefing it open as tank pods calls it uh, that will arrive hopefully monday or tuesday uh i pod one not the sad pod uh black black pod because the other one's black so this is sad pod the other one is black pod uh that'll arrive monday providing my local delivery firm decides to go hey we're gonna get out the van this time round and then bring it to your door instead of going it's raining i'm not getting out the van i couldn't deliver it my i'm sorry yeah. hopefully it'll be delivered and then i will make a little little video about it on monday just showing them all off there's nothing quite like going I have something that only that does one thing and one thing only and I like it. Would you like music? Yeah, that's uh, that's an iPod classic. And anything that is not the iPod touch range is deemed as an iPod classic. Like this form factor. Like this is deemed as the iPod classic range. So if you've got one of these it's an iPod Classic. Nothing is quite as satisfying as just something in your hand that goes, I do just music. And if you listen. I don't know if you could hear that, but there's nothing quite as satisfying as from something that just plays music. Yeah, we carry we, yeah, we carry a phone around in our pocket every single day with us. But it's just a touch screen. Nothing is quite as nice as being able to go do the do. It's oh, so satisfying. Will you hurry up please GCC? Well then again, did we did ask the way it could take like 6 minutes. 6 to 7 minutes. But nothing's quite as nice as this. So the video that went up today with the uh, how to make your own eyes had to burn discs. That was part of the Back to Basics series. It's been a while since I've touched the uh, Back to Basics. It's just, yeah, it's a Back to Basics. So I th think I know what's going on with that disc drive. It can't write anything anymore. However, can read so for read operations no bothers i can pull music and movies and all that sort of stuff off off of discs but i can't put them onto discs inside that disk drive so i had to put my mac super drive my macintosh laptop super drive into Tempting. Incredibly tempting. I would have to get another... Oh, Now you're giving me reasons to buy another iPod. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't need another reason to buy an iPod. I'm going to do it next month. But now you're giving me a valid reason. Oh god. <laughs> oh dear. Whoopsies. But I, I that is something I've been set in the back of my mind. Make my own Linux ISO. Or make my own operating system. And then install on one of these. Because the issue is this is a 32 bit. If I remember correctly, these are 32 bits. If I depending on which one I get, because I'm gonna have to buy another iFlash adapter kit. In theory, and I do mean in theory, I could build a Linux from scratch system on the iPod itself. In theory, and I have, do heavily mean in theory, because I can boot off of if i were to put a a larger sd card system in here 
or, or into an iPod. I could stick it in a disc mode and then. Oh, yeah. I could stick it in a disc mode and then say, hey, look, boot off of here with the ISO. And in theory, again, heavily on the in theory, I could build a Linux operating system from scratch on an iPod. Now, it is possible because anything is possible if you apply enough violence and anger and say, you will work, so help me God, or you will become e-waste. And at that point, either, either it works or it doesn't. So it's just a swings and roundabouts type thing. But it's a, you will work or you won't work. You're gonna do it. Now, the only issue I would have is I don't know how I would capture the output. And I don't know who Terry D D Davis is. That's a new one for me. Yes. Real men chop wood and make their own ISOs. Oh, God. That, that, that was cringe, I will admit. Will you hurry up, please? Thanks. So, evidently, the make flags... Make flags don't apparently apply. So now we've got to sit and wait for this to be done. We use the competitor of Linux kernel query. Huh. I am also a fan of various people that make the software, such as a Mr. PJ Singh from who made the Cubic software that somehow happens to be the most popular video on my channel. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand that. Like, it means a lot, that people like it and it gets watched, but... Uh, what? Ow, my elbow. Hang on! That... Oh, Temple OS. Wasn't it Temple OS? Because I, I remember hearing something about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just come back to me. But no, we make... We are a... Uh, I'm very much an advocate of if you don't have something that works for you, do it yourself. And if people don't like it, tell them, hey, I made it. Get fucked. Here's a license that says you can't have it. It's an everyone except you, because I know there's an everyone except a Richard Stallman license. Uh, I know the people who created the Pinkest Pink said uh, the owner of Vanderblack can't use the Pinkest Pink because something in the art world. But there, there's licenses for that, it's just, yeah. If you don't like it, Take a very long walk off an extremely short pier and don't use it. This time round, I will actually make this operating system publicly available. If I can figure out how to, that is. <laughs> oh god. But I will, once I figure out how to, I will stick this on GitHub, and I will be one of the many... Many thousands of Linux distribution maintainers out there. I can just have another little check mark against my name saying, I've made an, my own operating system, and it is being maintained. Barely. Which reminds me, I need to update my Linux, my uh, Wine install repositories, because uh, it's not going to take kudu. Um, the 23.03 uh, uh, Ubuntu version is out. Which means I need to make uh install script for that, and that'll only be bleeding edge because at the current moment in time, if I do keep it a check, uh Wine HQ has not yet released a stable version of Wine above 8.0. Because I know there is development version 8.11 last time I checked, which if you ask me is pretty bloody insane because they've been chugging through them like crazy. 
Yeah, the only uh, stable version of wine at the minute is 8.01. And apparently it fixes Tamil and Turkish translation updates, fixes Mac OS, OS Ventura 13.3 on the Apple Silicon. Think of a benefit for you as well. Um, um, a madman who loves computers and makes content has decided that they wanted to bring something into the world. No, you haven't. Um, I am not going to attempt to try and... Uh, Kaiser. I'm going to say Kaiser because I'm going to end up butchering your name. I'm so sorry. Um, we're waiting for GCC because uh, the make flags are apparently not in effect, even though... I put the mate flags in effect, so I've got to wait for GCC to finish building. I didn't want to butcher your name, so I just went for the next best option. <laughs> no, we've been talking about tech and operating systems and the everybody except Richard Stallman license. Uh, there is actually an interesting license I did come across. Oh, God. Where is my... my oh, I don't know where my, 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 where my phone's gone. But there was an interesting license I came across on GitHub. I'll, I'll find it again and, and put it in the chat. But I think it is hilarious. And it, it needs more attention than it gets. It is absolutely bloody fantastic. It's called the Good Luck With That Public License. And it's hilarious. Because it genu it's just a use case of, you wrote some code, you're not quite proud of it, and yet you want to release it. It's just a, it's your problem now, type license. I love it. There. <laughs> it's a, uh, good luck with that, but yeah, it's just a, <laughs> <laughs> good luck. And there's also a version that is just, I'll just read out the license whilst I wait for this. Good luck with that. Uh, good luck with that shit. Public license, copyright, every fucking one except the author. Everyone is permitted to copy, distribute, modify, merge, sell, publish, sublicense, or whatever the fuck they want with this software, at, but at their own risk. Preamble. The author has no fucking clue what the code in this project does. It might, it might just fucking work, or not. There is no third option. Good luck with that shit. Public license, terms and conditions for copying, distribution, modification. You just do whatever the fuck you want to, as long as you never leave a fucking trace to track the author of the original product, to blame, or be held responsible. In no event shall the authors be liable for any claim, damages, or other liability, whether in action or contract, tort, or otherwise, arising from, out of, or in connection with the software, or use other than dealings in the software. Good luck and Godspeed. I love that license. That that is a license that I would stick on something of mine just for the joke. It's tech version of accept. Yeah, but it's like that's it. That's all the license. It's just a. If you're gonna, it's it's a here as a warning. If you're gonna ignore it, then good luck. I might just include that somewhere inside of my um. I might just include that somewhere. And what's funny about it is it has, oh god, uh, it has like a bunch of licenses, a, a bunch of translations, it's got a lot of translations, uh, everything from Arabic down to Vietnamese, it's got a bunch of licenses, or a bunch of translations, and I love that. Uh, is my how's my Discord bot server doing? Please hurry up! Oh my god, that's taking an age. Traffic. Who the hell is cloning my Discord bot? Not like complaining, but who the hell? <laughs> I actually do use XMR stack for a bit of mining myself. Uh, I use it for Rio coin mining. Because now I actually have a decent graphics card. Uh, I do a bit of mining. And I found that with my RX 6600 XT undervolted. Because that's the only way that I can mine with it and it not go. Haha. 
with it being undervolted, it gets to around, I've seen it peak at 2.24 mega hashes, which in terms of Ryo with a Kryptonite GPU algorithm, that's not bad for one graphics card. Please tell me you're getting close to being done. Yeah, so we need to include a um, minus J6 in this because this is taking a literal age and I didn't think of the consequences. Um, no, because the algorithm I uh, the I'm mine with is a Kryptonite GPU and it's a GPU algorithm. Yes, I can include CPU into that as well, but it's a GPU algorithm. Uh, CPU is more just like there is a hold it up and I don't. F oh Jesus! I took uh, I took a long time. Sixteen minutes. Holy hell! Uh, my GPU, my CPU is older than my graphics card is. And I don't finish. I don't fancy punishing my poor old CPU. It goes enough. It goes through enough already by being owned by me. I, d I don't want to make it panic even more. Uh, time to install. But there is. Oh yeah, that's funky. There is an option to do uh, to include uh, CPU mining into it. It's just. Lesser. Uh, oh, there we go. It's less ideal. Do that. Do that. Leave GCC. Remove GCC. Yeah. Now we got to wait for this. Yes. 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 Remove all of the direct regular write protected files. I do not. I wish to not have them. Thank you. API headers. Uh, it is a Ryzen 5 2400G. No. <laughs> With the stock cooler on it. Why? Because um, I keep putting off buying a new cooler for it. Yay. <laughs> Oops. Um, I bought AMD because it was cheap and good. And I have no issues with it. My server is Intel though. It is two X fifty six fifties running at uh, with twelve cores each, hyperthreading up to twenty four cores each, meaning it is a nine, it is a forty it is a forty eight core system because both turbo both hyperthreading twenty four it's forty eight core system with ninety six gigabytes of RAM, which I've made various videos about it, but yes. Anyway, API headers R hyphen XPF. Linux. Yay, this is going to take even longer than GCC does because everything on the Linux kernels. Here, right. AMD CPUs with NVIDIA graphics cards, they appear to work the best in that sort of combination because AMD doesn't know how to make Linux drivers, apparently. I, I should know, I've had hell with that graphics card. <laughs> yeah, not fun. Uh, go into Linux. Uh, make Mr. Proper. And do the do with these. Ooh. Wait for that to finish. Have a quick sip of my hot uh, bean juice. Coffee. I'm not just drinking bean juice. As much as AMD tries to be like a bigger proponent for Linux, you have a better time with an with an inter, with a uh, Nvidia graphics card because they they just work out of the box it, in most cases. For instance, when I was using a an Nvidia graphics card with Debian, for example, or Arch or Manjaro. I never had issues. I stick an AMD one in, it goes, ah, yeah, I'm not going to work. See, well, I, I, I'm using Ryzen myself now. And somehow, no issues at all, it just works, and I like it. Uh, right, we done. Do with that one. Move the directory, remove the directory. 
Only the, only the directory, not anything else. Glibc. Remember, make flags. We have to remember to make flags this time around, otherwise we're going to have some hell. Tar hyphen XVF. Glibc. Uh, dot tar dot XZ. This is one that has a patch file, meaning that's why I was like, mm. I had a moment with itself. CD glibc. Create the links that it wants. Patch the file. Get the directories. Uh, ensure LD config and various things are going into the correct places. Prepare for compilation. What we want to do is so this may this may fail if we do a parallel make. You know what? You know my opinion on it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Time make hyphen J6. If there are any errors, then we know we indeed cannot do it live. And that's when problems happen. <laughs> It'll be fine, I promise, hopefully. So it also runs, uh, I will. Ooh, that is taking a chuck. These are my system specs that I'm currently using. Uh, yes, that says 13 gigabytes of RAM. It's mainly because eight of that is chucked at the virtual machine. That's what's currently running, and the CPU is doing not so bad. It's in the 60s. Yes, it works. I can't close that terminal window, because if I do, I'm going to lose the camera. Which is... Fair, because it's a separate process running. I should really make that into something. But no, I do need to update. Yeah, it is. It's Windows XP. Uh, I I like my I like my uh, install to look like Windows XP. Stop! Will you take your time? Hurry up! I like my installs to look, look like Windows XP. So I've made various videos and various install repositories for it available on my GitHub at githubcom slash nickmatthews one it works. Uh, I'm surprised GitHub hasn't taken away my ability to be sponsored on GitHub, considering I've yet to get a sponsor. But, I have. What I make is functional, and people can make use out of it. So, yes. Yes, very nice. Right. Uh, I do need to update that at some point. I'll update that at a later time. I should not push that off any further than I already have done. It'll be fine. I uh, I just expected GitHub to go, no one sponsored you on GitHub yet. We're removing that feature from you. Because it was a... No, I, I know I can be sponsored because I, I applied for the GitHub sponsorship thing when it was still a, in its early infancy. And GitHub went, yes, you can have it. Somehow, I still have it. Mm. Oh, like uh, back then, it was a closed. You have to apply based, and we'll make a judgment. Provide some evidence. Provide some evidence you are worthy of having the sponsorship feature against you. So all of my GitHub, as well as the YouTube channel. And GitHub went, all right, you can have the feature. Oh, no, the GitHub sponsorship thing is so you can then sponsor open source developers. It's, it's GitHub's way of trying to pay back into the community whilst taking their cut off the top because every business wants to take their cut off the top. Unless they're being entirely transparent about it, every business wants to take their cut off the top. But the GitHub sponsorship thing is there as a open source contribute back into the community. So, hey, people do it. Uh, Jeff Geeling, for example, one of the uh, largest, one of the uh, bigger uh, open source developers, who is currently waging a war against Red Hat, which I don't think 
uh, I think everyone's currently doing at the minute, considering their um, Red Hat's attempts of absolutely just destroying every bit of good world they have ever made. I don't know why they're doing it, but they are. But he's the one currently thing. That wouldn't surprise me. Let me give that a check because I don't. I think that's got to be the one thing I have not updated. Thank you for mentioning that to me because I might have had it done. Uh, you know what? You might be right. Let's go find out. You might be right. Yeah, you might be right. I hope you're not. But you might be right. Uh, so, as it turns out, you were right. And I forgot GitHub does not... They would have killed that transfer link across. Yes. Whoopsies. Let's get that fixed. Uh, GitHub.com. Publish. Much better. I'm going to remove that one. Publish that. Okay, so if I now have a quick look see Lou. Thank you for pointing that out to me. I thought I had changed it, so thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we got us caught up. No experience to learn every day. Yep. You can learn something new every day when you're not being when you don't have an iron being taken to your brain and having it smoothed out by a more... Why are you taking so long? By a more... Um, Yeah, so I did an oopsie and caught the cable by accident without realizing it, so thank you. There we go. Um, so yes, hopefully this should work, yeah, providing I have got it to set up. Hopefully it's done correctly, but... Um, uh, yep. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. That'll work. But uh, uh, with some of the things with the GitHub, GitHub sponsorship thing uh, that I did. Fishboard. Uh, oh god, where is where is my pahoni? There it is. Oh, I need to put that on charge. Ow, my hip. Yes, I know, pseudo mode request. Approve. Yes. Right, now that we've done that, we want to do the hard coded path. Okay, I can't even remember what I put on my GitHub anymore. And please give me the not failed. Right, ah, oh, yes, thank fuck. <laughs> it's working, that's good. But there's a tier list you get included in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. 
sorry about that. Right. Program interpreter worked, which is very nice. Clear that out. Do the do, which is required by the various people. And rm hyphen uh, remove the direct, we've left the directory. We're now removing the directory. Clear the screen. Lib standard C from G GCC. So tar hyphen XVF GCC. Let's go. Do 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 la 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 don't fall off my lap. There we go. But no, uh, my tear is kind of a... Yeah, that, uh, that's... Uh... Yeah, that's just sort of a... Sort of thing as there is. Like, I, I don't like pushing it because I, I feel like as if I'm trying to aggressively sell myself and I don't... I don't feel... I don't know. Not some I'm a fan of. Anyway, uh, cd gcc make the directories, enter the directories, do the compilation instructions, wait for it to take a literal age because it's compilation instructions, and for some reason, sometimes they can take longer uh, than the actual compilation because. I don't know. It said it was going to. That's why. I don't know. Frankly, I don't know sometimes. Anyway, that should now be done. Then it's just a make the standard C++. Okay, so time make J4. We're going to do J4 because J6 appears to be making it chug harder than the world economy at the minute. And I can explain why billionaires um, I figured out the re uh, possible some of the reasons I'm having some of the issues I'm having in VR is because I don't have a Valve or a Steam supported VR headset it's not supported natively in their software because it's an Oculus Quest. It's not an Oculus, sorry. It's an Oculus Rift CV1. Like, it's the original VR headset back from... Yeah, so if it were a Valve Index, it would probably work just fine. But it's not. So it won't. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Christ. That, that took 39 seconds. Yes, very nice. Now that we've done the make, install the library, remove the la libtool archives, and then move on to the next one. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm just lucky that I even got it to let me set a guardian zone and saw the headset moving around and then can actually get into VR somehow and that's all that's probably the best I'm going to get unless I have a like valve index and that's a lot of money <laughs> so no I'm all right <laughs> now let's feel like down the road somewhat anyway now that we've done that uh, remove GCC, the directory, not the library. Now we've got to compile the cross tool chain. Yay. Tar hyphen XVF M4. CD M4. Right, cross tool chain, if you please. See, this part shouldn't be as long because it is only just the cross compilation and by the time we get towards chap end of chapter 7 because that's the one right before the incredibly long hellscape that is chapter 8 which I may have to split out over a couple of streams because 
Well, it's chapter 8. <laughs> Do I need to say any more? Anyway. Here we are. Um, floor. Now we're done the configure. Time. Make two six. Fly through. Be done. Install. Move on. Please don't be done with me. Thank you. Come on, there we go. 12 seconds, very happy. Install, I'm going to put the iPod down. I'm going to put the sad pod down now. Leave the directory. Oh. Remove the directory. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, tar-xvf. End curses. CD end curses. Go to here. Ensure that Gork is found first gen configuration. Yes, sir. Go to the directories. Uh, this is the system D version. Uh, there is also a sys v, uh, sys v in it. System V in it version. This is the system D. Um, the one and only Linux operating system that I was actually able to get working first time was the system V in it. And I don't have that one anymore because I didn't back it up. And then moved from Debian to Ubuntu <coughs> because of my graphics card. And never, it didn't occur to me until after I had wrote over the system and went, oh no, I've lost my operating system. So this is why I'm going to attempt to make it so I have a publicly accessible version so I don't make the same mistake again. Because that would be bad. <laughs> it exists in my memory and on YouTube as the operating system that cannot download anything at all <laughs> because I'm an idiot and forgot to give it wget. Oh god, that was horrendous. Why can't I download? Oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, J6, there we go. <laughs> that was the annoying thing. Just, why can't I, why can't I use W again? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I've always built it using Ubuntu because I can just get all the tools I need, and I happened to have the ISO at the time. <coughs> I have not yet attempted to do Gen 2. I've not even attempted to touch Gen 2 yet, so that will most likely be a video for further down the line. Because Gen 2. Oh look, it's, uh, it's uh, Google trying to pretend they are important by doing a Gen 2. Right. Wait for this to done. We'll, we'll we'll move to the bash directory now. Whilst we wait for this to finish. I mean realistically it's just a matter of having uh just a matter of having all the um software you need installed really. Like if you got it installed, then eh, it should work. You just gotta be careful with some of some bits might uh, conflict with the host system, but eh, it should just work. Which is the nice thing about it. I could probably make a Linux from scratch system inside my Linux from scratch system. So it would then be a simulation inside a simulation. And that I like. It would be a simulation inside of a simulation inside of a simulation. Because it will be a virtual machine inside a virtual machine inside a system. Which is also being simulated. So. Yes. <laughs> It's a simulation, it's out of a simulation, it's out of a Taco Bell. Tar hyphen XVF bash. Uh, <laughs> yes. You, hey, you can't get a vi you can't fall victim to cybersecurity issues if your operating system can't download anything. <laughs> the best and most secure operating system ever. It can't download anything. <laughs> 
That is the most... It's even more secure than Stuxnet. It's even more secure than the whole Stuxnet thing. Yes. <laughs> I love that. That's funny. Alright. Uh, CD bash. Okay. Configure... Come on. Hurry up. Yes, yeah, it's gonna take a while. I don't know how many VMs can I install in VMs? <laughs> uh, well, depending on the hardware it's running on, I suspect probably like three or four layers deep, mate, at that point. I mean, if I were to turn my server back on and just do VM is that a VM is that a VM is that a... I could probably go on for quite a while considering it has 96 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm guessing I could probably do like 50 virtual machines. <laughs> I could just go 50 deep. He's like, hello. As as potential, of course. Not like 50, like actually deep. Like at least 10 deep. Give, give them 40. 40 deep. If I give them two, two gigs each. Two of them one, two of them one, two of them one, two of them one. Huh. Like, I mean, fully, like, implemented ones. I could probably go, like, at least 40 deep. Probably. Just, just back of the hand thinking, is this going to work? Make it to six. I should most certainly attempt to do this on on my on my server just just to see how hard I could punish the server slash Linux from scratch system <coughs> because I think the idea I think the idea of having a server running Linux from scratch is insane and I love it I love the idea of it. I just have no way of capturing it. Yes. <coughs> right. Don't want to make install then link. Slash iron hyphen r bash. Yes, 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 yes. Clear the screen. I said clear. Help if I could spell. Core utils. So hyphen XBF core utils dot tar dot xz because that's got a patch file. CD core utils. Let's go. Yeah, I mean in theory on ninety six gigs of RAM on the server. If I gave each virtual machine two gigs of RAM in theory. In theory, I could I could run simul um, forty virtual machines simultaneously if I gave at least forty. Not accounting for the overheads with Proxmox or anything like that, because I currently have Proxmox on that server. So, in theory, maybe maybe I could. Hmm. Yeah, got you got me thinking. You got me thinking about another uh, about potential for another video. <clears throat> there is also Arch instead of Ubuntu instead of Debian instead of Ubuntu. Uh, I have yet to even look at Ubuntu because there is someone I subscribe to called Windows G Ele Electronics. Go subscribe to Windows G Electronics. Very good YouTuber. Who's... Who does dumb shit with computers? Like, oh, I don't know. Running... If I remember correctly, it was running a Minecraft server installed on Gen 2 on an iMac G3. Because, yes. And that's the fun. Windows G Electronics does some good stuff. 
So go watch their stuff. But I know I've not yet looked at a one two. If there was enough, if there was enough for a one two, I would definitely trust me. I, I know Windows G Electronics thumbnails; they look a bit crazy, but trust me, absolute the content is very mucho gusto. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. So we've done the make J6. Do that. And somehow I'm above them on Social Blade. I don't understand that. Oh, my eyes. Right. We've done destination install. Chucked it in. Oh, my God. Now, call utils. Oh, my God. This is one of the ones. I hate this with a passion. Oh my god, I'm gonna get carpal tunnel. There we go. Jesus bloody Christ, I was gonna get carpal tunnel. What the hell was that? Honestly, I swear to God. Please update, thank you. Yeah. Probably could because, ow, my wrists. I, I see, I don't know which one does it. Like, it, it varies time to time. So I have an XPF diff utils. And <clears throat> that's the annoying thing because I don't know which one it is. I, I can't remember anyway. Uh, CD diff utils. And then we want. Do the pre make. Which this will take even longer. I probably could have just stuck a uh, hyphen Y at the end of it and I probably would have just gone, yes sir. I I will try that this time round. Because most likely this, this is also going to have right protective files. So I'm going to give it a try. Why I did not think of that sooner, I won't bloody know. Right, okay. <sighs> J6, grab the install package line, come on, just gotta keep on running, running, and running, running, and running, running, thank you, right, doodly do, uh, rm hyphen r, oh, hang on, cd dot dot slash, rm hyphen r, diff utils, hyphen y, that is not an option. Yes. Uh, uh, type ha hyphen XBF file. CD file. Grab this. Do this. It's just making a small file for compiling because it's a compiler inside of a compiler inside of a Taco Bell because yes that's how that works apparently right prepare for compilation and compile the file hopefully Hopefully, it will not take anywhere near as long. Oh, good. Now, compile the file. Install it, remove the libtool archive. Move on to the next one. Oh, good. That one was finished quickly. That made my life significantly easier. Uh, uh, file. Oh, I have an XVF. Find utils. C C D find utils. Help if I could select the right area, wouldn't it? Configure, yes. Oh, hurry up. 
Oh my god, you are taking an age, good sir. I do not mind. If you would hurry up, thank you. Remember, hydrate. Don't forget to hydrate. Oh, yeah, so the unfortunate thing about compilation instruction is that sometimes it'll be longer than the actual compiling and the installation of the file because you want it to be faster. That's why it's, it's going to be slow. Mm -hmm. And three, two, one, done. I may have spoke too soon. Uh, well, you know exactly what's gone into it, and it's your own system, and you then have the, the good feelings of saying, I made an operating system. This is mine. There are many other like it, but this is my own. Without my operating system, I am nothing. Without me, my operating system is nothing. That's an obscure joke for you. But no, no, nothing quite gives you satisfaction of being able to say, I made an operating system. It is mine. And no one else can take that away from me. Oh my god, how many more files have I got to go? So I hope next for you, Gork. CD Gork. Uh, paste. Oh my god, it's taking a while. Yeah. Well, it's not really a 9, nine plus fork of Debian Ubuntu. This is just genuinely something that is... It is a system D system. Uh, system D. Built on top of the Linux kernel, and that's it. Anything else you want to do with it, go straight ahead. I am just using Ubuntu to build this because you need an operating system to build the operating system. <sighs> so how... So at some point in time, some poor fucker had to make the original IDE. Someone had to make the original development environment to get where we are now. Some poor fucker had to do that at least once. And now I'm here. With a thing in my hand that is more powerful than the rockets that, w that were sent to the moon and that can communicate across the world in an instant. All because some poor fucker made an IDE once. Uh, that's, that's one way to think about it. Well, yeah, yeah the, the original developer would, would have had no help. He's like, I am, they are. Look at me, I am the Senate. Time make it six. Sorry. Sad pod. Well, this is also kind of sad because it's a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and the battery is um, getting towards being a Note 7. It doesn't like to not be hot, which is concerning. Hey. Right, do that. This well, this can't communicate across the world in in seconds. This can. Uh, to the install uh, cv dot slash I'm hyphen gork tar hyphen xpf grep cd grep. Oh my god! How many more packages do I have to bloody go? What the hell? Balloons. <laughs> ah, yes, the forbidden pillows. I, I, would, I ran my finger across it when I opened it up, and it felt bump. It like it just it felt like a slight curve. It's like okay, that's got to come out. Once I took it out, I stuck it down on the desk, and it span around in a circle. Like you know, I have you spin a coin, it kind of spins. Flat batteries aren't supposed to spin. <laughs> 
<laughs> that wanted. That's um. That's a forbidden pillow. Is that supposed to do that? I just took. I just took it out and sat it down flat and just span it, and it just span. It's like oh, oh no. Yeah, yeah, this, this, yeah. I am, pers I think it wouldn't surprise me if it was a Samsung battery. <laughs> New feature, spinning battery. I love that, that's hilarious. We have upgraded you to the explosive package. It now spins. Aggressively. Uh, I don't have an hour grip. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So tar hyphen XBF G zip C D G zip. Oh my lord, how many more do I have to go? Up. Right, I've got make patch said tar XZ and the those two. I'm on G zip now. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah, chapter eight's gonna have to be a turn stream. There's no way I'm doing chapter eight this this stream. No thank you. Time make G six. Reason why chapter eight is not as it is is not right now is because it's well if you've seen my videos on it, you know exactly where I stand. That is hell. It's hell incarnate. I do not need to Emphasize how bad that can be. Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. Uh, XBF, make. CD, make. It's not lost to me that I'm using make to make. Oh god, my nose. Yeah, it's, it's not lost to me that I'm using the make command to make a file from the make repository. Like, that's not lost on me. And I love that. There is actually a automated Linux from scratch version. Uh, it's called... Oh, AL... It's, it, there is an automated Linux from scratch version. However, I have not yet looked into that, and that would also be another video. Uh, time make J six, but that would most certainly be another video, because hey, look, automated Linux from scratch. You just what is? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Time make install the package. Make. Then we want to do a tar hyphen XVF patch. CD patch. Uh, grab the compilation. Compile the package. Yes, please. Thank you. I could probably make my own install scripts for this. I could probably make a script that speeds all of this up. However, however, that sounds like that could potentially be cause it potentially could potentially could potentially yes much many words many cents do thank I make wonder wonderful I promise I make the word okay thank and it's, so it's then install the package rm hyphen r patch tar hyphen xvf tar hyphen xvf said cd said and of course we want to do the grab this make install yada yada move on we're getting towards the end of this now because tar is four from the end and we have the two horrible long ones right at the end which is of course, less than ideal. 
less than ideal, lad. Less than ideal. Cut, there we go. Right. Done that. Time, make J6. Copy. Come on. Hurry up, you're taking an age. Please hurry up, I'm gonna kill you now. Thank you. Oh, my planar said. Yes, 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 yes. Type an XVF. Tar, again, it's not lost on me that I'm using tar to tar. It's not lost on me that I'm using tar to extract tar to use to then build tar using tar. I I love that it's just a s perpetual cycle of I am using tar to extract tar so I can then build tar and then go tar. Yes, I do have a Discord bot called MK Ultra. I just thought it was funny, and the uh, icon for it is also rather funny as well. It's very fitting. For some reason, it's getting downloaded and the repository is being cloned frequently enough that I, I don't know why or how, but that code repository is being watched by someone who has 4,000 GitHub followers. I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't. I don't know. You see someone in the thousands of GitHub followers, you know they're a bloody big shot. They are like a god on GitHub if they're in the thousands of followers on GitHub. That's no small feat. That is definitely no small feat. I have eight somehow. Yeah. Right. There's that one done. Make the install directory. Uh, cd dot slash rm hyphen r tar uh, tar hyphen xbf xz cd xz go to xz good we're on the final we're on the final straight three more to go three more to go yes um with mk ultra it's just there is a discord bot and i'm actually actually making sure it it is fully commented as well. I'm actually doing a good by commenting my code and making sure that it can be understood by everyone. It's been cloned 26 times since I uploaded it and I don't know why. <laughs> oh god, that's hilarious. Uh, like I don't, I don't understand how MK Ultra has so many followers. It's, it's been cloned so many times. What? Right. Um. Yes. New follower joined the team. Thank you. Uh, right. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, right, we've done the thing with that. Now we need to remove that rm hyphen r xz tar hyphen xbf bin utils pass two. Yay. How bad is this going to be? <laughs> it says it says it's only going to be 0.4 standard build units. No, no it's not. So, chuck that in, make a new build directory, compilation instructions, wait a literal age for that to be done, time, make hyphen J4, because I, J6 had issues with it the first time around, and I just want to avoid those issues. So hopefully, I do mean hopefully. It should not take too long at all. Uh, yes, for the MK for MK Ultra, you can join the 
There is a, there is a support Discord server for it. Uh, it is a mandatory requirement for having the Discord Developer Badge. The Discord Active Developer Badge. Very nice. I like that. Um, or you could inv uh, you could invite MK Ultra to the server directly. But it's... I have six Discord batches now. And there's only two more I can get. And those are going to be, like, impossible. One of them is Discord staff. The other one is be the owner of a partnered Discord server. There's only two more left to get. I don't think I'll get either of those two. But having six Discord badges is just like a big flex. It's like, look at me. I have the flex. I, I, I can... I have the ability to say, look at what I've done. But I have shaped, shaped the world, and, and I don't know how I got here. Please help. Send help, I am confused. <laughs> ah. Let's uh, press, that's just life all over. Come on, hurry up. Jesus, wept man. Yeah, I knew I shouldn't, I knew I should not have done it with make flags, because we're stuck here. We are stuck here, and it's driving me up the wall. <sighs> Hurry up. Please, thanks. Oh, my God. <sighs> if I'm... Yeah, this, this is supposed to be a point four standard build unit. A point four standard build unit would be around about 40 seconds. 40, 50 seconds. What the ever loving Christ. Oh, there we go. Yeah, oh my, yeah, see, that's longer than the one standard build unit. Okay, that's... That's not how we do this. Okay. You will obey me, otherwise I will... Remove you off the face of the earth. Uh, thank you. The new tells. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. And now I've time for GCC, and then we're on to chapter 7, and that's when we call it. This is also true. Right. Tar hyphen, tar hyphen XBF GCC. Oh, Christ. I saw Fortran there. Why did I see Fortran? Oh, God. Uh. There we go. CD, GCC. We want MPFR, GMP, and MC. Uh, MPFR, GMP, MC, MPC. Good. We want the 64-bit uh, library. Do this. Do that. Do that. Come on. Do you want time? Make help if I could spell. Holy hell. Time. Make hyphen J6. Please be instantly done. Thank you. Install, chapter 7, Donzo. Come on. Come on, mate. You're nearly there, buddy. I will try not to absolutely destroy this. In between streams, I promise. I, I will try my hardest. <laughs> I, I won't touch it until, until the next Linux from scratch stream. That, I can guarantee you, I won't touch it at all. Stop buzzing at me, phone. What are you doing? What are you doing, phone? 
Oh, look, my uh, bets came through. Uh, I can. Um, I'm just not going to touch it. I'm just not going to touch it until uh, it comes to doing stream. Because that'll be easier. Easy to not touch it at all. Hurry up. I can't touch it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Wow, those are horrible odds. That's got to be my bad luck and look. Come on, might hurry up. Oh God! Oh really? Yeah. See, this is this is the annoying part about bloody. Linux from scratch, yeah, get stuck with this for a long while. Yeah, I got stuck doing this air business. I got stuck doing this air business. Right. Come on. Oh my god, please just remove me from the face of the earth. You are driving me up the wazoo. Please. Please, sir. I don't want any more. I don't want any more, sir. This is what a mental breakdown looks in real time. <laughs> oh, god. Yeah, this is what you don't see when it comes to me making Linux from scratch videos. You just see the nice start to finish, maybe a bit of Scarlet Fire in there. You don't hear or see the hours and constant internal screaming it takes to get to that point. Which I suppose is fine. Because just a little bit unhinged. <laughs> you see the front end, not the back end. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you see the front end as it is intended, not the back end with the absolute mess of Ethernet cables everywhere. Which reminds me, I have another Ethernet switch. I have another network switch. Uh, I've yet to open today because it arrived. Uh, I use. Uh, OBS to record and then open shot to edit because as much as I would love to use DaVinci Resolve I can't because DaVinci Resolve says no right so you're probably wondering, why do you have a network switch in your hand inside the little boxy here? Well, reason why I have a network switch in my little hand here. Hurry up, I will start stabbing you. Please, thank you. Um, is because I have a lot of Ethernet cable. And when I say a lot of Ethernet cable, I mean the raw like ethernet cable unplugged no ends no, no nothing like that and i want to make cables again and the best way i can think of doing it is duct taping this network switch to the underside of the desk making the cables plug this in plug somebody else in plug somebody in one end uh we'll plug this into the switch by the computer then another thing into here and see if it works. 
It's cheaper than buying a cable tester. I might do a video on that at some point. How to make Ethernet cables, Cat5 style. Um, the reason why Cat5e is because Category 6 cables are a nightmare. Are a nightmare to make. The reason why Category 6 cables are an absolute nightmare to make is because the pattern they have to go into the plugs. Because it's not, it's a honeycomb pattern. It's, it's, it's a staggered up down pattern. It's a staggered triangle pattern. Whereas for Cat5 e, Cat and Cat5 e, it's just a straight line. Instead of a up down, up down, up down, up down, up down, up down, up down. Please sir, will you hurry the fuck up? Yes, Category 5 e, Category 5 and 5 e cables will always be the easy cables to make. And you can also push uh, power, uh, power or data, uh, 300 foot or 100 meters down Ethernet cable. And of course, if you're going to be doing long runs of networking anyway, then you want to be doing fiber runs, because fiber will get you further for, in theory, less than Ethernet will, because you'll have to then do switch up and down. Yeah, it's just not worth it. If long distance, long distance cable runs, fiber's the, fiber the way. Fiber is the way. I will show you the way. Will you hurry up? Thank you. This is going to be the longest one yet. I will. <laughs> this is going to be even longer than past one. So we just have to sit here, looking pretty, developing the front end, whilst we wait for the back end. Oh my god. Like, this isn't... Like, I'm not going insane, right? This is taking an inordinate amount of time to do, right? <laughs> oh, I'm not... Ooh. You're asking. <laughs> You're asking for not fun things. Yes, I know it has a 4.6 SBU, but holy... Bloody hell, that's longer than that's past that by now. You're you're asking for me to say not nice things, and I'm not going to do that because that's hell. This is hell. Uh, hey, you're finally awake. Oh my god. Why are you it wouldn't work. I know the hard way. <laughs> That's how I lost the last one. It's because I rebooted my ho rebooted the host system and forgot that the virtual machine was still running, so I lost it all. <laughs> I wanted to cry so hard <laughs> because I tried I remounted it and then it wouldn't boot because here's the dumb thing it could not find the boot image that it was looking at because it could see the boot image and go that's not a boot image how in the ever-loving fuck do you mean that's not a boot image it's the boot image you're looking at it. I don't know, it's not the boot image. <laughs> so that's how I lost my previous system, because... Crying. Oh my days. Please hurry the ever-loving... For oh, Jesus, there we go. I'm, try I'm trying to um, say nicer things about this. As I found, if I don't touch them after I turned off the computer, it's fine. <laughs> but then I have to turn the computer on and then off again if I touch them, because then shiny. But then again, I don't, I don't really mind it. It's fine. Uh. 
Uh, you know what the funny thing is? My, wa my watch is saying, hey, look, you need to move. You've been sat still for too long, fatty. Start moving. Oh. Time died. You will learn. <laughs> I, <laughs> Linux, you will learn. And you will learn good. I also stand by my philosophy of... There will, be, there will be no you of the Linux, Linux desktop. You can't prove me wrong. There will be no you of the Linux desktop. Since we're all sat here on Earth spinning around, aren't we all God's rotisserie, ch rotisserie chickens? No year of the Linux desktop. There will be no year of the Linux desktop. I stand by that. And the reason being is... I do love a rotisserie chicken. I do love a rotisserie chicken. Anyway, the reason why there will be no year of the Linux desktop is easy to explain. Until Linux gets to a point where it can be easily picked up by the mainstream and then there is no, no alternative and the Linux community, community stops being toxic within itself. Show me a Linux community that doesn't have at least some sort of toxicity to it and I called you a liar. I stand by that, by the way. Which then makes me slightly toxic. Anyway. Until... Until it reaches a point where it's easily accessible by the masses. And it works as expected. There will be no good Linux desktop. Linux, the popularity of Linux is just a linear scale that will just eventually go up to a point where we can't remember when Linux became majority mainstream. Like, it'll just be like, huh, when did this happen? There will be no, like, boom, hey, look, Windows 95 just came out, boom, popularity explosion. Hey, look, Windows XP's come out. I now have the NT kernel. I don't have to worry about my devices not working when I plug them in. Boom. Stuff like that. Nah, that's not going to happen with Windows. That's not going to happen with Linux. It's just going to be a slow and continued growth until we reach that point. You see what I mean, though, don't you? Everybody's wrong until proven otherwise. But you get what I mean. There will be no year. It'll just be a slow curve until, hey, how did I get here? And then we'll all go, this is good. This is nice. But to get to that point, yeah, that's going to be the hard part. Hello, uh, 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 Ahmed Faisal. How you doing? Um, I am um, just sat here waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting so long for GCC to finish compiling now. It's been like half hour. Even with six CPU cores. And eight gigs of RAM assigned to the virtual machine. It's having none of it. It's having none of it at all. <laughs> oh god, I want to crash. How you doing, mate? Thank you very much for coming along today. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. See, this, this is why I'm, this is why I make my my arch videos for, so you can just install it and get straight off to the races, and then. Do whatever you want with it. It's like that's why I make my stuff for because I don't want people to panic when they use Linux. I know it's kind of a misnomer to name my channel Linux Panic because when you use Linux, don't panic. But it's the goal is to help people, and somehow it's, it's been my videos are being viewed by the students at the University of New South Wales. And also being viewed by people at Microsoft. And I can back both of those claims up. 
with statistics and information. I can back that up. Like, that shit's just insane. Come on, you. Hurry up. Yeah, so... We are now just genuinely waiting for GCC to finish compiling, because this is supposed to be a 4.6 standard build unit. No, there's nothing wrong with it. If, it, if it's something that you like and you enjoy doing, go for it. Like, if it works for you and it does what you want, where's the problem? People don't seem to understand that people can have individual tastes when it comes to Linux and all stuff. It's just like, if it works for you, where's the problem? Like, that's, that's what I stand by. Hurry up. I don't understand the hatred inside the Linux community. If it works as as you want it to work and it does exactly what you need it to do, but other people don't like it, then they can go diddle themselves as far as I'm concerned. If it works for you, then that is the main thing. That's where I stand. Thank you very much for clarifying your name, Faisal. Uh, I just didn't want to butcher your name. I'm sorry. Call me Nick. That's my nickname. My Nicholas name is Nicholas. <laughs> there's a nickname for a short name, and there's a Nicholas name for a longer name. So if you extend someone's name, that's their Nicholas name. If you shorten someone's name, that's their nickname. Think of it like that. Will you hurry up? I've got no idea why it's taking so long. It's got me, it's got me concerned. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, exactly. You're not wrong, Kaiser. If operating system, if Linux system A doesn't, does some of the things you want, operating system B does all of the things you want, then hop over to B. You may upset people from community A, but community B should hopefully, I do mean hopefully, would op should open, Accept you with open arms. That's that's the change I want to affect in the Linux community. Because I, I... I Granted, I haven't helped. I definitely haven't helped. There's been a few videos that I've made that have definitely not helped that. I'll admit that. But... I want to try and affect change to the point where we can all go, Okay... We do not like this from this operating system. However, it works for you. End of. If it works, then just leave it. Be. Leave them alone. Just let them do what they want. The whole point of the f open source stuff is it's open source. We're here to help people do something that is exponentially insane and just help them with just Linuxy stuff and any, anything from the fact that there was a Linux operating system, there was a Linux from scratch system that was made that was eight megabytes in size and served as a web server. Tell me that isn't insane. Tell me that isn't insane. The fact that their Google is Chrome OS is a fork of Gen 2. How this thing in my hand, Android, runs major runs the majority of and mobile phones in the world. 
Apple uh, iOS is its own thing because it's 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 most like it's a Unix operating system. So is Linux. It's a Unix base, if I remember that correctly. It was yes, it was made of Unix. It was it was Linux came out of Unix. Like everything we have leads back in time slowly, and there was a point in time where the community wasn't anywhere near as fractured. And it's as the world has gotten as bigger and smaller at the same time through the more the more interconnected we've become, the more the smaller the world has gotten, but the bigger the horizons have have become. And it's that point where we've decided we hate our fellow tech enthusiasts that we don't want to help them anymore. That's the point where we need to turn around and say that ain't right no more. We need to move forward and say this is not right help our fellow community help our fellow communities help our fellow people who just want help and say i'm here to help what's your issues no don't know just how can i help people don't want to do that because it's not in their own self-interests but that's not the point of the community that we've built around that's not the point of the majority of all of this open source it's like the majority of the stuff that i've made that i feel like it's worth i like, feel like it's functional i will just stick on github my install scripts for, for my various like my DWM install scripts, my Ubuntu XP install scripts, my Linux XP Ubuntu install scripts, my Wine install scripts, a majority of my Wine install scripts, is like a good chunk of my views have come from Wine views directly. And that is something that I can prove. I don't believe how, I don't believe how, how it's like that, but I can prove that. Like my, the majority of my like big view channel, my big view videos are how to install Wine, how to install Arch Linux, how to install Steam on Arch Linux. Like that's what people want, and I and I just say, well, here's how to do it. Do it. And I'll help you where I can. And people just don't understand that. That's the point we're trying to get across. We want to help and make things functional for the rest of the community not just because some guy said you had to you did it because you wanted to the whole point is to say i want to help you We have, we all got into Linux so, through some form or another. I can't remember how I got into Linux. All I remember is initially using Manjaro as my starter Linux operating system. And then got into it, watched a few videos. It's back in 2016 now, so a long, long, long while ago. But I've gone from there to this and I have made at least one video a week every single week since November the 2nd 2023 2021 even November the 2nd 2021 I've made a video a video every single week because it's helped someone my original video may be may have absolutely poor watch time on it and absolute crap views but that doesn't matter 34 people watched my comprehensive guide to ip and a history to ip but that's 34 people that didn't know anything about that may have not known any <laughs> thank god it's done oh Oh, thank God. It's finally done. Ah. 
Oh my lord, that is... That has to be, an, that's an hour and a half. What the hell? Uh, yes. <laughs> it's finally done. Oh god, right. Let's never touch that again. I'm so happy it's finally done. One eternity later. I need to have like a setup for that. Just one eternity later. Oh my god, it's finally done though. Which means we can finally move on to chapter seven. Oh god, there we go. Chapter 7. <sighs> right. Let's get this done, shall we? Changing ownership. Right, so. Commands, of the, commands in the remainder of this book must be formed whilst logged in as user root and no longer user LFS. So. Exit. Clear, echo, LFS. Good. We want to change those back to root. Prepare our virtual file systems. Very nice. Directories, yes please. Mount, bind, yes please. Dev, proxys, and run. Mounted, very nice. Entering the Chura environment. Yes. I have no name. Hails, yeah. Right. Okay. We're now in the pro we're now in the actual operating system that we will be writing to. We just need to go through and create everything else. Okay. File system hierarchy. We don't need to worry about that. Make this. Create our hosts file. Create our passwords file. Create our groups file. Create our tester file because I know for a fact we're going to need this. And bada bing bada boom root. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, it has been so long. I can finally breathe. Oh, I can finally die. I can die a peaceful man. Except I can't because I still have to do... I still have to compile packages. No! Oh god. Right. Uh, tar hyphen XVF get text. So tar hyphen XVF get text. Oh, I'm gonna go through all of this now. Right. Please don't. Don't do me dirty this time. If I give you a make flag, please do not do me the dirty. I will aggressively cry. But I stand by what I say. We need to be more open to the community because we are open source. So we need to be more open. We need to invite people in and say, Welcome. You are wanted. Please come join us on our holy crusade.
Ah yes, back when Red Hat was Red Hat and not a corporate greed entity, I mean. Owned by the nice people at IBM. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is... I haven't even done the... Is this still the compilation? Is this still the comp- oh my, this is... Help? Yes, owned by the nice people. Oh, yeah. oh. With the tools there, technically yes, if you knew what you were doing, it's about how to use the tools. That's how. If you know what you're doing, and you know what you're looking for, and know how to do it, yes. But it's, if you're given all the tools and go and told, make do, you're not going to learn anything. Yeah, oh, please tell, oh my god, that was just that. J4. I have never once used OpenBSD. Or looked into OpenBSD, so I cannot give an opinion on something that I do not know anything about. I've thought, I've looked, it, I've looked into it. I just don't, I haven't quite wrapped my head around it yet. So I'll, I need to do some more research into OpenBSD, and then potentially you'll see a video in the future. Oh, and I never fully answered your question earlier on, Kaiser, when you asked me how I make my videos. OBS to record. Uh. Open shot for, oh sorry, shortcut for uh, the video editing and GIMP for the thumbnails. So the thumbnails you see are all my own doing. And uh, it clearly shows. <laughs> it clearly shows. Oh, Lord. yeah, it very, it, it clearly shows. Will you please not be the slow? Thank you. Yeah, that's your answer to that one. Um, I will look into OpenBSD because it's not. It's something that I've seen and read about from time to time, and I just I feel like I should look into it and give it a proper give it a proper sniff. But I don't know anything about it, so I can't really make an opinion on it. So, until such time as I know more, I'm, I'm not going to make a comment. But I can't substantiate. So I feel like that is a reasonable and fair answer. Uh, hang on. 22. Sorry. So, yeah, uh, somehow. <laughs> somehow. 22. Uh, and, yes, my my son is... Ugh, my son's going to be just as computer mad as I am. Yay. Hey, that's, uh, that's one way to guarantee Linux, Linux users just... Yeah, <laughs> okay, hey child i i've been mistaken for being much older than i have been my entire life through just the way i carry myself is how i've always been told yeah i just haven't got rid of it in a while trust me if i fucking got if i just swinged it off i would look significantly different and i've been compared to a woman when i've swinged it off would you please hurry up I would like for you to please hurry up. I do not have all day. Compile the child from the source. <laughs> I uh, Why compile the child from the source when I can indeed make him the source? No, that's, one, that's one way to get Linux users in, is just <laughs> bring them up as Linux users. He's like, oh, you, you use Windows at school? Not at home, you don't. We use Linux in this household. Meh. 
No, I just like old tech. I, I just really like old tech. Old tech is, is, is nice. Thank you for only taking five minutes this time around. Jesus wept. Oh, it's longer than one standard build unit, though, so... Get text. Um, type on XVF. Python. Oh. Help if I actually... Go into the Python directory. Python. There we go. But I, I like old tech. I, I like old tech. Old tech's good. Old tech's nice. So I just keep doing it. I just stick my nose in where there's old tech and go, hey, how can I fuck with it? How can I fuck with it and make it do what I want it to do? No, Zoomers would be like 14 to like 18. Oh, <laughs> good luck getting a government official to change their mind. <laughs> uh, I think the way I think the world has taught us that government officials do not change their mind. Ah, good, done. Then again, I am entirely out of touch with um, the age ranges and all. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand kids these days. Them damn kids and their fortnights. I don't understand it. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand it. Um, time make. Tell you what, we'll. Do it without a make flag and see if that works. It's speeds up by any chance. Damn kids and their fortnights. Get off of my property. You don't kids get off my property. <laughs> oh god. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh well. So let's go for this finish. Well, that's good. Anyway, just I'm glad to see that there are other people just getting into the Linux community. Oh, that took significantly less time than I thought it would. <sighs> and that's just my luck, isn't it? I'm hyphen Did I just hit Discord? Go off. I should have done. So I have an XVF Pearl. CD Pearl. Oh my god. Please let me be at peace already. Right, I got Pearl, Python, Text Info, Util, Linux, and cleaning up and saving the temporary system. Once we get to the end of chapter 7, where it's the cleaning up and saving the temporary system, we will be done. Because I didn't expect it to take... Nearly three hours, or over three hours, to get from the start to the end of chapter 7. It's never taken this long before. Oh my days, please help. Anyway, we, we, we've been philosophical. We've got into the groove. We got down with a groove. Yeah, it shouldn't take this long. Should not take this long. Oh my god. Uh, right, okay, we'll be done. We'll be done shortly. But no, I, I, I'm close. I, I'm. Oh, there we go. Thank fuck. Uh, fine, mate. 
Uh, I'm edging ever closer on the march to a thousand subscribers, which I, I, I can't quite believe. It's it's it feels like a miracle to me that I'm at nine hundred and thirty-one subscribers, let alone nearly at a thousand, and how I've had over what is it now? How many views now? A hundred and forty-two thousand views. That's mental to me, and I can't, I can't quite believe it. It means a great deal to me, and I can't, I can't put into words how much it make, how, how much it makes me feel. So, just you guys being here, it gets me in the feels, man. It gets me in the feels. Uh, uncontained, uh. uh Unexpected um, overflow error. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, unexpected unexpected buffalo um, buffer overflow. There we go. Unexpected buffer overflow in my heart. <laughs> I can't contain the feels. <laughs> oh, I just thank you. I hope I can continue to deliver good content for you guys in the future and I hope I can continue to bring on more people and just help spread the word about Linux and how good it can be and just help because I'll admit there's I'd like to get to a point where I don't have to go to work and be a stay-at-home parent for my son because, as much as I love this, my son means a great deal to me as well. And I'd love to be a stay-at-home parent for him. And this is where I'm hopefully trying to get this, because... <sighs> his mother is in America, I am in the UK, and I don't know when he's going to see his mother next. And so, it's just... I want to get this to a point where I can start supporting myself. So I can be a stay-at-home parent for him, because he's only t he's only small child, mind you, and I love him dearly, and I will. Uh, we won't go into that one. We won't go into that part. But she's in America. I'm here. We won't go into we won't go into details. But he is small child. And I got to hold him straight after he was born. And the world just stopped for a moment after he was born. Because I held new life in my arms for the first time. And that shit was intense. This is why I want to try and bring good into the world and say... I've brought in good and now my son gets to see what's possible and that the world isn't all bad and yes my dad may be he's, he's thinking to me like yes this ginger nutcase here may be a bit nutcasey but he's helped people he's done good and now he's helping me and through my journey and that's what i would like for him to do and then just want to get to that point where i can support myself and him Hopefully, not that far away. And of course, I do have to do some fandangling with the government, of course, but that's that's when I reach a thousand subscribers. That's when I have to start talking to them and say, hey, look, um, things and stuff, stuff and things. Um, for the Linux streams, oh, hopefully not. Well, Depends on how long stuff takes. My intention for this one was to go from chapter 1 to end of chapter 7. Next stream will be maybe 2 or 3 hours of chapter 8 and then the stream after that on the next, this stream will be two to, uh, just halfway through chapter 8. That will be next Saturday. Um, upcoming Tuesday will be another um, 
upcoming Tuesday will be another Factorio stream for this. Um, I've been told by the government that do not apply for anything, don't mention that I earn any money at all until I'm at the point where I'm actually making money because they're going to want to know how much money I'm earning. And if I turn around and tell them I'm not actually earning anything, they're going to tell me, well, you're going to have to go to work and you can't because you're a single parent. You're a single parent living with your own father. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's nearly midnight. Whoopsies. <gasps> Finally, Jesus Christ, that took longer than I thought it would. Right. I make install. I love how the install takes so much less. This is why I'm just trying to get YouTube to the point of a thousand, so I can then get the government off my back, and I can be self-employed and stay at home and be for my son what I would like him to be. What I would like to be for my son. And show him, show and be there for him growing up. That's what I'd like. Tar hyphen XVF. Uh, Python. Yay! This is the one with the weird name. CD Python. All right, configure. Yes, we're going to take an edge. See, that's the thing. I don't know what's popular in the Linux, but in the Linux space anymore. <laughs> How I got to my videos being as popular as they are, I don't know. I was in. Unfortunately, I am in a grey area. I have Linux skill, but nobody wants to hire me. How I know this? I have applied for the better part of a thousand jobs in the tech sp in the tech space, whether it's from tech support to engineer to Linux specialist to anything, just anything in the tech field at all. Nothing out of a thousand jobs applied for, nothing. This is why I want to be self-employed, because I'm the one that can then say I have value to myself, and then the community at large. Because I don't have a shiny degree after my name, I'm not worth anything to companies, and that's the thing that gets me. You don't need a fucking degree next to your name to have value to the world. That's uh, that's a thing for another time. That's the thing for another time. But like... Ooh, no, I'm gonna... I have tried getting a job so I can get job experience. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I can't get a job to get a job experience because... Yeah, 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 it's just a perpetual cycle. <laughs> Looking at the big companies, Apple, none of their guys had a degree. Facebook, Mr. Lizardman, didn't, he left without a degree. Like, the fuck? Lizardman left college without a degree. Well, left, left at higher education without a degree. And yet these companies now say, hmm, do you need a degree to come work for us? It's like, mate. The person who found, one of the people who founded your company didn't have a fucking degree and is now watching one of the richest people in the world. What do you mean I need a degree? <laughs> oh, I said I, I said I wouldn't go there and I'm not going to go there this time around. That is for next time. <laughs> That's for next time. You need to stop being shit. But this is just, this is why I just want to get YouTube to the point. Where if I can get 70 more subscribers, I can start to convince the government that I can work for myself. And that's all I need. And then make the videos, keep going up and keep doing the good. Fighting the good fight. I 
Yeah, mystery, mystery of the chicken and the edge. Techn- te- technically speaking, what came first was the primordial ooze that we all came out of. <laughs> That's what came first. Not the chicken, not the egg. It was the primordial ooze. And then it would have been the egg, because technically speaking, it would have been single-celled forming outwards from there, and then we would have egg shape of some sort. So technically speaking, the single-celled organisms that all life came from was an egg of some form, meaning the egg came first. And there you go. I'll have to try. I'll have to look into um, specs. Well, I'll, I've got some games I can compare. I've got some. I've got some games I can compare. I'll give it a go. It's the fancy graphics part that's going to get me. Gotta give it a go. It's chicken or the egg? What came first? The egg. Will you please hurry up? I have one more package to in the bloody install. Text info, I hope. Oh, that's you told Linux. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sapper on Linux. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is gonna take an age. What in the hell? See, I, I I can't do that because I like to spend a lot of time and effort in making a video and to me it doesn't feel like it's worth the effort that I if I just do it quick dump and run. It doesn't feel satisfying to release it. It's like oh, I didn't really put much, put much effort into that. Uh, 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 the funny, uh, uh, funny thing is, I already have it, and I do. Well, I used to share them on Twitter, but they just weren't getting much turnover. So, yeah, I just started edge away from Twitter. Yes, I may be followed by the official account, of the official voice of Siri. Yes, I may be followed by one of the biggest um, broadband providers in the UK. Yes, I may have some very weird uh, verified followers on Twitter. However, doesn't get much traction on Twitter. So it is what it is. Like I'm just happy to get where I have without the massive advertisement push I've tried to do. Oh, there we go. That took um oh, five bloody minutes to make. I make install help book as well time make install. I uh, do share them on do share them around on Discord in larger servers, uh, such as Windows G Electronics. I share I share do share some of my videos over there. I've got. To, I've still got to wrap my head around the whole. Hey, sharing my videos doesn't necessarily mean bad things. And oh, hang on. What is it? What is? What is? Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, I can't fucking remember it now. Oh, hello. Oh, hang on, I'll just... Uh, I'll just check Discord, because it's on there. 
Uh, that'd be easy, wouldn't it? Oh, where is it? Streamer mode off. Connections. Or is it what? Ah, it is not. Uh, look for... Look for... Oh, that's not right. Hang on. That one. You should see my face. Anyway, uh, what was where were we at? We did install next package. So, cd dot slash rm hyphen r... Python hyphen hyphen xvf text info. Yay! I gotta go to that hell. Uh, oh, oh, I can ju I can just check it in my emails because I, I can't currently sign into Twitter because my phone's dead, and I haven't um put my phone on charge because the cable's down there. Ooh, my eyes. CD text info. Now give me a uh, no. We're gonna run on to Electric Avenue and make the sparks go higher. Yeah, it's the underscore one one. Uh, well, that's. Uh... YouTube will push content if you've already watched content from that creator before. Because the YouTube algorithm works by giving you stuff you've already watched, like stuff similar to what you've watched. It, the, the YouTube algorithm only comes around when you appear. So, for example, if I were to make a brand new Twitter account, it would just give me the top, the top stuff until I started going into... Look in, into specifics and then go, well, you've watched Linux content from here. How about Linux content from here? And that's how the YouTube algorithm works. It gives you the stuff when you turn up, basically. Uh, long format aren't punished. It's just depending on what people watch. If they watch longer format tech videos, then longer format tech videos get recommended. If they watch shorts, shorts get recommended. It's just how people consume YouTube is how the algorithm presents it. It's biased to how you watch YouTube. That's basically the best way to describe how YouTube works. Oh yes, I need text info. Yeah, that's because they're still trying to... um. They're still trying to figure out uh, shorts because shorts is its own thing and, and the way people consume shorts is different to the not shorts. So it's just getting to that point where they're just trying to figure out how all of this works together. And they're just trying to do both of them equally. But yes, it does, does look dodgy, but it's just they're trying to get there. Huzzah, okay. Time, make. Please do not be slow, you are a 2.2 .2 standard build unit. But, when it comes to shorts and stuff and such, they're trying to fit there in the process of just tweaking it. Like, shorts, they go up and then down again. Like, that's the thing with shorts, they're just a, they're either all the way there or not at all. Like I've had a few of my shorts hit into the thousands, and then some of them just don't. And that is just how the cookie crumbles when it comes to YouTube. Did it do well? Yes, then good. Did it not? Then, well, sucks. That's pretty much how it is. Right, uh, time make. Um, let's talk.
but it's just down at how people consume consume YouTube. I'm having our text info. CD util Linux. No, tar hyphen XBF. Tar hyphen XBF util Linux. Done that. Oh, util. Uh, there we go. Let's try that again, shall we? We got our run on to Electric Avenue. I make the sparks go higher. Yay, my brain's stuck. Oh well. Right. We're getting close to the end. So, I would like to just say that. You guys being here tonight, I'm just talking crap about all sorts of shits is just wonderful, and I can't thank you guys enough. It's been good, and I hope to see you guys again uh, at some point, hopefully on Tuesdays and Fridays, or Tuesdays and Saturdays, but it's... It hits me in my feels. An unexpected buffer overflow. That's how it hits me in the feels. You get to see the front end and the back end. Um, I'm currently going through the process of redoing some of my um, redoing some of the Linux Panic logos and the such. So you may see uh, you may see them come around at the thousand subscriber mark because I was just like, hey, look, new logo. Like, it's not going to be so much of a change you won't recognise it, but it would be enough of a change for you to go, huh, that's different. But it's not going to be a complete departure from what I already have. If that makes sense. As warnings, it's just fine. But it, there's some stuff coming up. There'll be some logo changes. It's, n it's nothing too big, or what have you. But it is coming up, so just be aware of it. Cleaning up and saving the system. Right, okay. Be the true route, yeah. Yeah. We're going to leave this here. I am going to save this. Save. Watching. I'm not. I'm not closing it down improperly. Because if I do, I'm going to aggressively cry. <laughs> oh god. Okay, good. Right. It's done. It's saved. No need to worry about it anymore. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Two hours, 43 minutes later. Oh god. Right. That is the end of this stream. I would like to thank you all so much for watching if you liked the video if you liked the stream hit the like button if you disliked it hit the dislike button they both work you may only be able to see one of them <laughs> liquid morbius hi morbius but you got it's been a real hot it's been a really good stream and it's set, it's the virtual machine saved properly. That's the end. We hit, hit the end of chapter seven. This time next week we will be doing the uh, hellscape. That is chapter eight. And I don't need. I hope I don't need to explain to you guys what chapter eight means. It means hours of just extract, compile, set the compiler, do it up down up down. <laughs> Eight or nine hours, potentially. I don't know yet. But I would like to thank you all, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked the stream, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike. They both work. Um, if you're not already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you a dime. Uh, I have 112 other videos. At least 112 other videos. Sorry, 122 other videos that you can go watch there's a lot 
There's a lot to watch. Um, if you if you want some Linux panicky stuff, there's the description. There's a, there's a merch shop I don't push. I should I should probably do that. But there's other stuff you can go help in other places if if you fancy it. You can support me on GitHub if you fancy. You can get your get your name attached to my uh, attached to my code and all that. But you guys have been cool, and I can't thank you all enough. I hope you have a good day, good evening, a good night, good whatever it is, wherever you are. And remember, when you lose, use Linux, don't panic. Goodbye.